see what is it that you really want and strive for that. And if your thought is created in a powerful way, without any negativity, without any negative thoughts bringing down the intensity of the thought process, it will definitely manifest. If you organize your mind to a certain level of organization, it in turn organizes the whole system. Your body, your emotion, your energies, everything gets organized in that direction. Once all these four dimensions of you, your physical body, your mind, your emotion and the fundamental life energies are organized in one direction, once you are like this, anything that you wish happens without even lifting lifting a little finger actually. It would help to assist it with activity, but even without doing any activity, you can still manifest what you want. If you organize these four dimensions in one direction and keep it unwavering in that direction for a certain period of time, So, organizing our minds and in turn organizing the whole system and these four basic dimensions of who you are right now in one direction, if you do this, you are a Kalpavruksha yourself. Anything that you wish will happen. So organizing our minds fundamentally means moving from a compulsive state of activity to a conscious state of activity. Faith works only for those people who are simple-minded. Thinking people, people who are too much thinking, for them it never works. So what is possible and what is not possible is not your business. That is nature's business, nature will decide that. You just see what is it that you really want and strive for that. And if your thought is created in a powerful way without any negativity, without any negative thoughts bringing down the intensity of the thought process, it will definitely manifest. The whole existence today, modern science is proving, is just a reverberation of energy. It is a vibration. Similarly, your thought is also a vibration. If you generate a powerful thought and let it out, it will always manifest itself. If you simply commit yourself to creating what you really care for, now once again, your thought gets organized in such a way, there is no such thing as whether it's possible or not possible. There is no hurdle in your thought process. 
your thought flows freely towards what you want. Once this happens, making it happen will also naturally follow. So to create what you really care for, first and foremost thing is that what you want must be well manifested in your mind, that this is what I want. Is that what you really want, you must look at it because any number of things in your life, you have thought this is it, the moment you reach there, you realize that's not it, it's the next one and the next one and the next one. When we say a joyful world, that means everything that you want has happened. So this is all that you're looking for. So all that you need to do is commit yourself to creating it, to create a peaceful, joyful and loving world, both for yourself and everybody around you. Every day in the morning, if you start your day with this simple thought in your mind, that today, wherever I go, I will create a peaceful, loving and joyful world. If you fall down hundred times in the day, what does it matter? For a committed man, there is no such thing as failure. If you fall down hundred times, hundred lessons to be learnt. If you commit yourself like this to creating what you really care for, now your mind gets organized. Once your mind gets organized, the way you think is the way you feel, your emotion will get organized. Once your thought and emotion is organized, your energies will get organized in the same direction. Once your thought, emotion and energies are organized, your very body will get organized. Once all these four are organized in one direction, your ability to create and manifest what you want is phenomenal. You are the creator in many ways. Pleasantness within, pleasantness around. If this is what we want to create, I think it's time we addressed it directly and commit ourselves to create it. So you want to create yourself as a peaceful human being, joyful human being, loving human being, a pleasant human being on all levels. And do you also want a world like this? A peaceful world, a loving world, a joyful world. Now you're here, it is for you and me to see how to manage this, how we want it, how to keep this world, how in what condition would all of us enjoy it best is something that we have to look at. So at every stage in our life, we tend to think this is it. If this one thing happens, everything will be fine with my life. You reach there and you realize that's not it and you postpone it to something else and something else, this is going on. The first and foremost thing is, you must be clear what is it that you really want. If you do not know what you want, the question of creating it doesn't arise. If you look at what you really want, what every human being wants is, he wants to live joyfully, he wants to live peacefully. In terms of its relationships, he wants it to be loving and affectionate. Or in other words, all that any human being is seeking for is pleasantness within himself, pleasantness around him. If this pleasantness, if it happens in our body, we call this health and pleasure. If it happens in our mind, we call this peace and joy. If it happens in our emotion, we call this love and compassion. If it happens in our energy, we call this blissfulness and ecstasy. This is all that a human being is looking for. Human beings are capable of love. It is very, very important that people understand 
human beings are capable of love, human beings are capable of compassion, human beings are capable of joy and blissfulness. First and foremost thing is to organize the mind and to organize your emotions, body and energy in that line. Once this happens, you are in touch with the fundamental life-creating process within you. Once you are in touch with it, once you are in excess of that power, you have the power to create. You have the power to create your life and your surroundings the way you want it. Because we have lost our power to create, we are making a mess out of ourselves and the world around us. If we operated as the true creator, as it is operating within us, creating this body for us, if we could create our lives with the same sense of organization and sense of purpose, this world and the human being would be in a completely different state. It is my wish and my blessing that every human being in this world should have this access to the source of creation within himself so that he can function here as a creator, not just as a piece of creation.